Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonel Trigger! Last time, we had a decision to make on who to bring with us to the derelict factory. Marley or Luca? Hmm. I'll have to think about this one carefully. Well, this time, I think I want to actually leave Marley behind instead of Luca. So, first things first, let's take a look at Robo's equipment there. He's got a titanium vest. Fortunately, I held on to one of my old hide tunics so that way I could switch my armor around because I think Luca could use more defense there and give him the rage band instead of a headband from Marley, let's say, because Robo's so slow, it's really not going to benefit him that much anyway. So we might as well just leave him with a rage band instead. So let's head on up here then. Can you break in? Hey, hey, all right. Yeah, if you tried coming in before, not a whole lot you can do. You can't even cross that left conveyor belt there. So we got a new brand of these guys, but fortunately uh, they are susceptible to physical attacks, unlike the shadows from before. So easy enough. Let's head on up there then. Last time, when I did the original LP, the reason why I brought Marley along is because Luca is, for the most part, well, just better than her. And I usually use Luca more than I, well, as a result, I end up using Luca more often later than I do with Marley. However, now, I think it's just better to use Luca because, yeah, oh, there's a bandit's bow we'll want to give to Marley eventually. But yeah, I mean, yeah... Luca is uh, better, but it's she's really not that much better than Marley in this area. If you really like to use Mar Marley, hey, go for it. I just think Luca's a little better, and, well, I'm going to use my party members differently in future areas. So let's head on over here, get down there. If you run into one of the robots, uh, the well, you'll be taken away. and You won't be able to uh, get this treasure. Oh, come on, make it, make it. Yes. Phew! Okay, now we want to intentionally get caught because, well, there's some battles we can fight. So yeah, if you get caught, well, this happens. Let's see here, we got a new enemy, version 3.0. Unfortunately, this guy counterattacks everything you do. So I want to essentially just let Chrono do all the heavy lifting there. Not trigger any more counter decks than I actually have to. So, yeah, Berserker Ring, really nice for Chrono in this area. Makes life so much easier. And here we got another new enemy, a uh, Deverminator, I think it's pronounced. But otherwise, they are relatively easy. Yeah, Deverminator. I don't know what that means. I think it's just a made up word. Hey, hey, alright, go Chrono. Ah, wow, you're doing pretty good with those uh, critical hits there. Ooh, and we got uh, uh, that laser spin, sonic, supersonic spin dual tech. With the uh, laser spin tech that Robo got, uh, that hits all enemies for shadow elemental damage, so that could be pretty nice. I'm not going to use it right now, but you can later. One thing you'll notice about Robo, unlike the other characters, is that Robo can actually learn more than two techs, which would be that laser spin that we just got from him there. So, and there's a very good reason why. I'll explain that later. Or, well, you'll find out later. I don't really have to explain it. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, control codes. Remember that for later, viewers. Like about ten seconds from now. Let's head on over to... What's that? Oh, okay, yeah, we got those barrels in the way. We gotta get those out of our way. But first, let's grab these. Awesome. Can never have enough of those. Not that I'm ever gonna use the ethers. Okay, so here is where you use those codes. Just listen to the instructions. Ding dong! Then hit X and A to get rid of this one. Just take your time, very slowly, with uh, commands. You don't have to be fast, like in Final Fantasy VI, with those blitzes. You know, some of those would be a real bastard to try and make it work. And then you press down again, get the same instructions, and go BB. Can you get rupees out of this? 
No. No, that is another game. But in this game, yeah, we're just putting these barrels and I think they removed the battles that you get into on the conveyor belt there. I forget, but that's what I thought happens. But essentially, they just move them out of your way, so that way you can well, move on further through the dungeon here. So let's see what's in that left door over there. Yeah, I don't need to fight these losers anymore. Let's see. Ooh, more treasure. Here's a Thunder Blade if you decided not to go through the sewers there. Hmm. Okay. Remember that for later. If you're playing the PlayStation version of the game, well, the code's going to be a little different because they don't have the X, A, B, Y buttons there, but this works in the Super Nintendo version, obviously. So, let's just head on back up. Then. That was okay. Hmm, what's that on the wall? What the? I thought those were just decorations in the background or something. Holy cow. Whoa. How do these guys still have power after all these years? I figured they would have ran out of power sooner or later. Well, here's something I want to show off. When you get on that elevator, you can just keep on going down if you really want to. See those lasers in the upper left there? Yeah, there's one down there. Can't do a whole lot here. But yeah, if you try going down here... Well, you can just skip all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, those lasers above... Yeah, we can't get past them down... They go all the way down here. Or at least there's other lasers down here. So, yeah, you can't just skip the entire... Well, this half of the dungeon there. So, no, no, it doesn't work that way, viewers. So, oh, well. I guess if you wanted to save, you could. Although you could just walk out to the protodome and use the... The, uh, Enertron there. Now, let's try using the... Flamethrower on them. Get a little extra damage there. Oh. That's... Uh oh. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Don't use fit or magical attacks against them. Or magic based attacks on them. But yeah, otherwise, these two acid, acid alkali, pretty much the same. Yeah, you kinda. I don't know if you could hear that, but yeah, the sound effect for that attack. Yeah, it's kind of screwed up in this version of the game. I noticed that with a few water-based attacks. And let's heal up there. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Robo has the Cure Beam there, which is a pretty good healing spell. A little better than what Marley can do right now. But yeah, for some reason, water attacks in this game seem to... Uh, the sound effect seems to be off. I, I'm guessing that's due to the porting of the game. And really, if that's the only infraction, we're doing pretty damn good. It's a hell of a lot better than the Final Fantasy ports that they did for the Game Boy Advance. I mean, not that they were intolerable, but there was a clear difference in quality for those games. Whereas this is actually pretty darn close for the most part. I can barely tell the difference between this and the Super Nintendo version. I'm looking for another battle there, but I can't seem to find it. Oh well. I could have sworn there was a third one up there, but oh well. Not a big deal. I think another reason why I'm bringing Luca along to this place is because I'm being a lot less conservative this time around. Like before, I thought I needed to be like really ultra conservative, bringing Marley along for some extra healing and stuff. But now I don't think we need that. So let's give the titanium vest to Chrono there. And the hammer arm to Robo. Awesome. And let's take down these lasers. Can you help us out there, Robo? Just beat on the thing. Use the selfie technique. No. No. Hmm, I wonder if Cyclone would be useful against them. Not too late now. I never thought about that until just now. Well, whatever. But anyway, here at the very end of the dungeon, they give us a plasma gun, which is, uh, well, I'll just show you. Yeah, it may inflict stop on robots, except we're not going to be able to fight any robots from here on out. 
and I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on the bosses. So, spoiler alert, there's a boss here! So, let's see... I thought there was something I was forgetting. Oh, right! Uh, well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but I can do that. But yeah, I want to give the power glove to Chrono because, well, I want to actually be able to control him for this next part. So, let's go X, A, B, Y. Yeah, awesome. And let's heal up here. Just make sure everyone's good to go. All right. Got plenty of MP left for everyone. What's that noise? Nice. Hey, I know that sound. Sweet music to my ears. Nuts. Okay, we well, might as well get out of here. I thought about cliffhanging you guys here, but... Well, I can't do that, obviously, because we're barely into this thing, so... Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. How are you going to get past him? Oh, you can just walk through him. That works, too. Hey, go Robo! Who's the man? Who's the man? Well, let's get out of here. Ah, nice. Okay, we'll walk out of here the old-fashioned way. Why not? Well, fortunately, all the enemies are gone now, so that makes life a little easier. Can't use that elevator there either. It doesn't work that way. Hey, hey! A whole bunch of robos to help us out. More party members. What the? Nuts. One of us. One of us. One of us. I, I don't even know what I'm referencing. I just heard that somewhere before. Yep, you're a defect. Just like the rest of us. What do you mean we're intruders? We just turned you guys on! You should be thanking us! Whoa! Nuts. We could actually attack them, but we're not in battle mode right now. We're in cutscene mode. That means things can actually kill us, even though we could just use a phoenix down to solve the problem. Down. And we can't escape that way either. I'll be honest, the music here gets me a little choked up. Even though he is just a robot, but still, he's a good robot. That's. I don't think so. I'm gonna show you to the scrap heap for boss time against the R series. So first things first. Uh, this time around, since I have Luca, I want to actually use Cyclone on the front row there. I don't want to actually use Flame Whirl or Fire Whirl on on them for a very good reason. Now I want to target the one in the lower right there, so that way I can hit two of them. Like so. And then I want Chrono to use Cyclone again on the back row there. Well, technically back column. You know what I mean. So anyway, so basically the way I want this to work is Cyclone on the front row, Cyclone on the back row there, and then use Flamethrower to take out, or well, to finish two of them off, Flamethrower to finish the other two off, and then Chrono should be able to hit the top two with his Wind Slash there. Assuming this works as it always has before. Why bother charging up to me when you can just, you know, throw your arm at me? Alright, got him. Who do you think you guys are? Stretch Armstrong? I don't even know who Stretch Armstrong is. But anyway. Is that good? At least they didn't process him. 
nuts. So yeah, you get a little different dialogue with Marlin. But can Luca fix Robo? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!